hi guys very good evening to you uh, welcome to the video number 225 and uh, in this video we are going to talk about the collection loops right uh, recently we have started a series as you know uh, on the loops where we have uh, discussed uh, you know all of the major types of the loops which you use in the Excel VBA like uh, for next loop uh, then we have the do while loop and then we have the do until loop and uh, I also uploaded videos on the if uh, function you know how to use the if function so um, on the same series I mean now we are also going to uh, cover the collection loops now I'm going I'm, I'm going to tell you that what exactly are the collection loops if you're watching my channel for the first time then as I said that this is the video number 225 so that you know obviously means that you can watch 224 free videos on my youtube channel and you just need to click on this playlist and when you click on the playlist guys you will see the videos on the different different categories on the different subjects you know for example if you are looking for the advanced excel basic excel or maybe um, excel vba or ms access or ms access vba you can scroll down and you can see that you know we have categorized them so here uh, for example if you're looking for something uh, you want to get uh, you want to make a code you want to get the understanding how to connect the powerpoint with the excel then please go ahead and watch click on this playlist and you will see here six videos you know uh, uh, starting from the the uh, scratch right so starting from the basic and then gradually we are moving to the intermediate and finally to the advanced level right so this video which i'm going to now talk uh, today uh, is uh, the collection loop uh, this is a video where you which you can watch in this category called uh, excel vb collection loops right so in the collection loops what exactly we are going to do now in this i'm going to tell you that uh, there are some specific uh, loops in excel in the VBA which are you know uh, pre-designed and you really can't do much changes in that but they are very powerful and they are used when you actually want to use uh, a singular uh, you know when you want to use a single object in the collection in the collection of you know of the same object of the same object in the sense when you want to actually let's say access a worksheet in the collection of a lot of worksheets which are a part of your workbook now for example uh, what if uh, you have a task that uh, you have a different different sheet here for example i'm creating here uh, some sheet right now i give you a simple task that go to every sheet and display the message box and in the message box get the sheet name so like you know we have a sheet name called sheet one sheet two sheet three sheet four and so on right you can also change the sheet name that is not the problem so how to run the loop in all the sheets one by one right now guys uh, you know uh, please pay attention to this because this is a very very powerful loop and trust me on that these collection loops are the loops which if they are not there then really i'm not sure i mean you know how difficult it is going to be for somebody to write the vba codes because then the code really becomes very lengthy and they are not even going to be so dynamic right i'm just going to explain you so um let's say now i'm just going to write here collection loop we call them collection loop because of the simple reason that they actually we get the uh, chance here to access the singular object single object one by one in the plural objects in the collection of the object for example what if you want to access the worksheet one by one in all the you know bunch of those worksheets so worksheets is a plural word and the worksheet is a singular word right so on the same concept what we do is uh, so let's say this is how you write you declare your first of all what exactly you want to declare as a worksheet so you write a ws as a worksheet right that, that's a singular object you know it's a singular object obviously and this is what exactly we need to identify right this worksheet is basically called a class right class means that it's in the properties it is a method so now when you when you're going to press ws dot you will get to see a lot of things a lot of properties and methods which are associated with this worksheet class so for example method means that something uh, action you know which is happening like when you activate the worksheet then what happens something is happening a worksheet is getting activated so you can see it right properties basically are the properties like you you see these these are called the properties uh, having uh, this uh, you know hand sign uh, like dropping uh, some envelope kind of a thing you know so these are called the properties so properties means it tells you about the um, it, it basically it is going to tell you the name of that object or what it does you know how what property it holds kind of an adjective right this is what exactly is the property so now uh, because we need the name so you can also use the name now name is a property why because it tells you you know it's a kind of a, you can say that it's a noun right it tells you about it what, what is the name of the worksheet it, it is not going to do any action it is not going to add delete or you know remove or save as you know anything so that is exactly called the method but this is the property so 
the point is that when you declare any variable or uh, using any class in this way dim wsl worksheet you know what happens automatically those class the properties and the method are associated with that class and get transferred to your object variable right so now in this case this is how we write for each worksheet in worksheet now ws is obviously you know that it is going to be treated as worksheet so that is why you write here as ws right which is your worksheet but in the plural in the you know when you write the collection loop so obviously here when you write for each worksheet in then after the in whatever you write that has to be a you know plural that has to be uh, the collection of that object so that means if you're talking about the worksheet then the collection of that you know worksheet is going to be the worksheet so now this is a very powerful tool now what what we can do is i can simply say that so let me get get the name of the each sheet one by one let's say right now you see that if you have watched my the previous videos on the for next and uh, the do loop uh, which you can watch uh, by the way let me just tell you just scroll it up somewhere here you would see that those videos um, the category is excel vba loops let me um, take you there um yeah that's that's what i was talking about when you click on this you would get to see all the you know loops which you use in the vba you see that we have the part one part two part three part four part five and then you know part six part seven there are a lot of videos actually eight or nine videos right so now the thing is that the, they are called the for next loop where you you have a control you need to give actually the you need to tell the vba that from this sheet you need to go to this sheet or maybe the, these many times you need to run the loop but here you don't really need to tell because it's a collection loop so now what happens when you run this loop see what will happen automatically your sheet will be accessed by the vba one by one you see that i have nowhere written that you know the, this loop has to run until the end of the worksheet but because you have written that for each worksheet in worksheets so automatically what will happen it will cover all the loops right so now we are on the last sheet which is a sheet 2 and the coding you know the code stops after that now let's say if i add further one more sheet um let me just um, add a couple of more sheets so i'm adding a lot of sheets here as you can see now sheet 7 sheet 8 we have so many sheets so the last sheet which i'm going to name is as ajay right so the first sheet is sheet 1 and then there are a lot of sheets so automatically now when you're going to run this loop what will happen if you see that this is the sheet 1 next sheet b next double t sheet 6 sheet 7 sheet 8 sheet 5 and the last sheet is ajay the moment i'm on the last sheet the macro stops so you see vb is so intelligent the intelligence of vb is so strong that it is automatically when you're going to apply this to we you will not have to tell that on which sheet you are supposed to go one by one right now for example if you don't know this loop if you don't know how to use this collection loop right because this loop is not only just used to access the worksheet names but we use it actually in the practical environment as it has a many many you know uh, various actually uses for example um, it can be used uh, to compile the data you can copy the data and paste the data from one sheet to the another sheet so you can run a loop every time the you know the, uh, we copy the data from uh, one sheet and then we paste it on another workbook and then we come back and then we go to the next sheet and then third sheet fourth sheet fifth sheet and you know so on so you don't have to write the sheet name specifically now if the if the same uh, question i'm going to give you that get me the you know message box and get me retrieve all the sheet names one by one then how are you going to do it for example let's just write it manual then you will understand so you don't know about this loop so what is the next thing you're going to do so here you will write that uh, sheet and then you're going to write here sheet one dot select okay and then you will write message box active sheet dot name i think that's the code which you're going to write right and then you're going to copy it and then you're going to you know paste it six times like this so every time it goes to the sheet and it is going to give you the message box of that sheet this is how basically the things work right now the thing is you don't know in this code if you if you run this code look at this what is the sheet one obviously you know that the sheet one is sheet one and the next time it is going to run and it is going to give you the sheet b and again sheet three and then you know the sheet name cc and then sheet six and so on right now it has a lot of limitation guys you know i'll tell you the reason uh, because you see that uh, suppose if tomorrow you delete this sheet which is ajay let me delete the sheet right click and just delete the sheet now actually what happens when you deleted the sheet 
there is no sheet 6 exist if you start the index of the sheet if you start counting the sheet this is the fourth sheet this is the second sheet this is the third fourth and then fifth and sixth and seventh basically you have seven sheets right so let me just further delete this um okay there we go and let's just delete this as well now what will happen because you have modified the code while writing this program you you had six sheets so based on that you written this code but tomorrow let's say the sheet six is going to be deleted so what will happen when you're going to run this code you will get the sheet one which is perfect and then in the sheet two as you know the sheet name is b and then cc and the next sheet is going to be sheet six and the next is going to be sheet seven but what about this sheet on the sixth index there is no sheet you know that right so what will happen you will get the error called subscript out of a range so that is the first limitation right now what is the next limitation so let me just end it let's just insert one sheet so this is a sixth sheet let's say we have inserted now we're going to insert a couple of more sheets as you see here okay so let me just name them uh, let's say test test one and test two now in this case your code actually is going to capture only six sheets so what about the sheet you know on the seventh index what about the sheet which is on the eighth index and what about the sheet which is on the ninth index you will not be able to access them right so that means if i'm going to run this code quickly have a look we, i got the sheet one i got the sheet b i got the sheet cc and then six as well and then seven as well but and then nine and that's it what about the test what about the test one and test two so your code is actually not dynamic so every time you will have to come back here and you have to add or delete the sheets depend you know if you if you're deleting the sheets then you will have to remove the code as we did and if if some more sheets are getting added then you will have to copy and paste the code for example now in this case to cover this test and test one test two i will have to copy this code three times you know like this and then i'm going to write here that uh, this is going to be the sheet number seven and uh, this is going to be the sheet number eight let me just write the sheet 8 and this is going to be the sheet number 9 right now when I'm going to run this I hope that we will be able to access all the sheets quickly so let's just go ahead and press enter I mean click on the ok there we go test and test 1 and test 2 right so this is how this code became you know became so lengthy you can see here it's a long code actually right and what if you have 50 sheets let's say imagine if you have 50 sheets and you're working with the 50 sheets so this is going to be a very cumbersome process very difficult process so in order to deal with these situations you know look at the other code if i run this code let me run this code look at this sheet 1 b c c sheet 6 7 9 test test 1 and test 2 and everything you know so just writing here three lines and you can have the access to all the sheets and moreover if you if i delete all these sheets for example let me just delete them right now in this case in your this macro you know that here if i run this macro it is going to give me the error why right? because you have said that you know you need to go to the sheet 2 and then sheet 3 so till the time it is going to find the sheet index then fine but the moment it goes to the let's say in this example um, now there is no sheet 7 right we have only six sheets sheet one b c c sheet six sheet seven sheet nine so this we have only created six sheets in terms of its number right so there is no actually a sheet which has a seven number and that is the reason we are getting this error right but in this code which we have made this one if you run this code you will not get any error why because you have said that for each worksheet in worksheet so basically we are not dependent upon any sheet name right so in this way you can run the loop and you can get you know you can have the access you can go to every sheet and you can access the sheet name so it doesn't matter whether you expand the sheets whether you, inc whether you increase the number of the sheets or you decrease the number of sheets this code is going to work perfect right that is why it is such a powerful loop right right now i have only discussed about the basics of the sheet uh, of this loop which is called the collection loop right but in the coming videos you know we will also discuss that how to copy the data from one sheet to the another using this kind of a collection loop right so that's that's the end of this uh, this video and i will be back i will be uploading some more videos on that if you haven't subscribed to the channel please guys do subscribe to the channel and watch all these amazing 226 videos on excel excel vba ms access and ms access vba thank you so much i will be back very soon bye bye